What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have an awesome video today showing you how to set up subscriptions for external users, meaning users who are outside of your organization. So you can't do this directly within Power BI as of right now, so we're gonna be using Microsoft Power Automate in order to set all of this up. I've also posted a blog post to accompany this video on the BI Elite blog. Make sure you check out that blog post. The link is in the description. So as you can see in the subscription, when I try to set up one, uh, you see uh, that if I'm trying to send to my Power BI Elite at gmail.com email, I get this error message saying one or more email addresses are outside your organization, gmail.com, meaning all of the subscriptions need to be sent to a bielite.com domain. Um, so in order to set up what we want, we need to hop on over to Power Automate and we're gonna set up a new flow. So go to create and an automated flow and then skip. And then now we have our blank slate here. Uh, we can easily search for email. I'm going to say when a new email arrives, outlook.com, you can use Gmail if you're set up on Gmail, but I use Outlook. So when a new email arrives, I'm gonna show my advanced options here. So basically we're setting up the rules to trigger this flow based off of some criteria here. Um, so let's go ahead and set up a test subscription. Let's take this from the top, so I'm gonna cancel. So if you're on the report that you wanna subscribe an external user for, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And I already have one subscription. So I'm gonna add another subscription here. Uh, I'm gonna call this video subscription. And um, I don't need to add anyone other than myself, my default email. And you can set your frequency. I'll set mine to be after data refresh. Um, save and close. So if we go back to our subscriptions, we see that we just have my new video subscription. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the Run Now button to see how that subscription is going to arrive in my mailbox. We need to know what the subject is, maybe who it's from, just give us some rules in order to set up our flow to only trigger for our specific subscription. So this may take up to two or three minutes, so be patient, and I will catch you in a second. So my email arrived, uh, you can see off the bat, uh, we have our subject subscription for channel health tab one. Channel health is my report name. Tab one is the tab name. Um, so you see that it gives us a little uh, picture here of what's going on, a link to the report, and also an attachment with a PNG of our, uh, basically our report snapshot. So that's how it came in. Uh, what's important to me is basically this title here. This title is what we're going to use in order to uh, set up that rule in Power Automate. So let's go ahead and copy uh, this title. And in Power Automate, we can say any uh, email that comes in with this title, subscription for health, tab one specifically, we want to do something. So now we'll click on new step and we will type in uh, forward. And let me go a little bit further forward. And I'm gonna click on this forward and email outlook.com action. So basically when that new email arrives with that specific subject, I want to forward that email to a different email address outside my organization. Firstly, we need to insert in a message ID. So if you click on the field next to message ID, it'll open up all of the dynamic content that you have to choose from that's coming through from that trigger and I will scroll down to message ID and then type in my other email outside my organization that I want to send this to. So Power BI Elite at gmail.com and a comment saying uh, forwarding this subscription. Uh, so with that we can just click save and I'll go ahead and give this a new name. Uh, external email subscription from Power BI. Great, looks good. And now the only thing we have to do next is test it. So if we click on this test button, you can see that there's no data to uh, basically test this for, so we'll have to perform the trigger action. So click that and click save and test. And now your flow is gonna be waiting for you to kick off uh, the flow manually. So give it a second, it should change screens here. Great, so now it's, it's waiting for that trigger. Uh, so now we need to go over to Power BI one more time. Let's click our Run Now button one more time and give that a couple minutes, and uh, we'll see if this worked. And it looks like the flow ran perfectly. 
So we can see the two little check marks here, everything worked perfectly. The email came in and then was forwarded properly. So I can hop on over to so my Power BI lead a Gmail email and check that out. And we see that I have my new subscription. And if I open that subscription up, we can see that we have everything we had in our original subscription and we even have our attachment. Um, so this is important because I was going through a lot of different items or different ways you could use Flow in order to send emails and this was the only way that I could keep that attachment. Um, so if you don't need the attachment, there are other actions in Flow that can work in order to send the email instead of just forwarding the email. But forwarding was the only thing that I found that allowed you to keep that nice PNG attachment of your report page snapshot. So this is pretty cool, we're all done. So now anytime a subscription comes in to my mailbox um, with that specific subscription or subject uh, for that email, it's going to automatically email to my external email. So this is really cool. Hope you enjoyed this trick, it's very easy to set up. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the BI Elite blog, go check out a couple of my other blog posts, spend some time there, and I will see you in the next video.